Good morning, faculty, staff, and friends. It is with great honor I welcome you to our unique graduation celebration for the class of 2020. There is nothing that is traditional about this class, so it is not strange or odd for them to blaze a different trail. They have never had fear about advocating for themselves or ensuring their place in our community. 2020, please take that same drive and enthusiasm to brave this new journey. Do not sell yourself short or count yourself out of any opportunity that will be thrust upon you. Mostly, know that your TMA family will be here to support you and that warriors never quit. Once a warrior, always a warrior. Welcome and congratulations. The mission of Thurgood Marshall Academy is to prepare students to succeed in college and actively engage in democratic society. Class of 2020, I want to thank you for what you have done, not just for Thurgood Marshall Academy, but for our city. Not just for our city, but for our country. Every single day, Every single year, every single week, you take time to fight for what's right. You take time to look out for the younger and those who are older, and you look time to make sure that the vulnerable populations in our city are taken care of. Class 2020, in my one year of knowing you and the three years that I have watched you from afar, I have seen that you are going to challenge the system and you're going to make sure that we're going to have the country and the city that we all strive for. TMA family warriors are very proud of all you have done. We had no clue that we were going to be in this situation a year ago today. But I'm not surprised that each of you have taken the time to learn, to actively challenge yourself, and to think about different ways in which our world could be. You were out protesting. You were making sure that our families were fed during the pandemic. And more importantly, you were doing every single thing that you could to make sure that you were going to get into the college that was going to be right for you. Class of 2020, I thank you for your leadership and we are so proud of you. Thank you. I want to leave my footprints on the sand of time when there was something that, something that I left behind. When I leave this world, leave no regrets, leave something to Somebody's life, the hearts that touch will be the proof that I leave. That I made a difference, and this world will see our tears. I live, I learn, I was here. I did.
is Fatima Musa, and I am the salutatorian of the class of 2020. First, let me begin by saying congratulations to us, the class of 2020. I am a person of few words, so I will keep this short. I will open by giving you the definition of the term imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern in which one doubts their accomplishments and has persistent internalized fear of being exposed as a quote, fraud. I share this with you because we are all going on different paths after graduation. No matter where you are going, whether it is a PWI, HBCU, community college, military, or workforce, there will always be people that want to make you feel as if you are not worthy. My point is, don't ever let anyone make you feel like you don't deserve to be in any space because you are not smart, spot with your own hard work. Congratulations. I wish you all well on your next journey. Good morning, family, friends, faculty, staff, and the class of 2020. I am Anaya Moore, the valedictorian of the class of 2020. All they have been saying this year is that 2020 has a vision. The one thing we did not envision is our year turning out like this. My Angelou once said, if you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Think about it, this is us. We worried all school year about getting good grades and doing everything that people expected of us. Instead, we should have focused on living our best senior year because we only get to live it once. The coronavirus has shown me that we can be amazing and do extraordinary things, even when we are not in a normal school environment. We may be distant socially, but emotionally and spiritually, we are bound together as one. We are all going through this unfortunate situation together. Many smiles, laughs, and tears have pushed and pulled us through this year. It has sculpted us into the young adults we are today. Four long years with pain, stress, and discomfort, but we all managed to make it this far. I am proud of every single last one of my peers because I know it wasn't easy. TMA was like a little village that helped raise many children into young adults with a prosperous future. Just like any family, everyone does not always get along and have perfect communication and relationships. Regardless of situation, we are humans. So we crave love, care, and affection from those around us the most. These four years have taught me that life is very unpredictable. And sometimes we have to make the best of what is given to us. So accept those people in your life even if they are only there for a season or two. Every bond is not meant to last a lifetime. Just make sure you take away the proper lessons and positive aspects from the relationship to ensure that you build yourself to become who you truly want yourself to be without the influences of others and what they think you should be. In closing, I will leave you with this. Barack Obama once said, Understand that your success in life won't be determined just by what is given to you or what happens to you, but by what you do with all that is given to you, what you do with all that happens to you, how hard you try, how far you push yourself, how high you're willing to reach. True excellence only comes with perseverance. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Bruno, Ms. Jackson, and Ms. Hurley, who have worked with our seniors during the college application process. At this time, I would like to present some awards to a few special students. The first award is the Thurgood Marshall Academy Wing Award. This award is presented to the student who most demonstrated resilience through personal and academic adversity throughout the school year. The TMA Wing Award 
is presented to Alexis Jones. The Frederick Douglass Award is given to a student who best embodies the characteristics of the award's namesake, understand the importance of education, and takes ownership of his or her studies. This award is presented to Alexis Johnson. The Thurgood Marshall Award is given to a student for their scholarly achievements and their interest and dedication to social justice issues. The Thurgood Marshall Award is presented to Delante Johnson. The Barbara Jordan Award is given to a student who shows dedication to civic improvement and leadership in their community. The recipient of this award is Taylor Martin. The Brandy Rutan Award is given to the student who best embodies the values of activism and civic involvement. The Brandy Rutan Award is presented to Michael Blackson. The Katie Rusnak Herman Award for Excellence in Leadership is awarded to the student who has demonstrated intellect, talent, dedication, and a resourcefulness that makes that student an invaluable asset to the Thurgood Marshall Academy community. This award is presented to Courtney Brown Mercer. In May 2009, a tragic car accident took the life of one of our TMA family members, Antoine Johnson, from the class of 2007. Antoine was a shining light within our school. Upon graduation, he attended the University of Maryland Eastern Shore and was just finishing his sophomore year when he was killed. In memory of him, we created the Antoine Johnson Scholar Athlete Award. The award will be presented to the student who embodies the same characteristics of Antoine, a student athlete who also understands the value of community and being a role model for his or her peers, a person with perseverance, compassion, selflessness, and integrity. This year, the award is presented to Terrence Stevens. In honor of her late father, D.U. Van Wen, former Thurgood Marshall Academy public charter high school mathematics teacher, V. Wynn, has created a scholarship to support a graduate who has taken the maximum amount of AP courses while at TMA, including taking AP Calculus. The scholarship is a one-time gift of $1,000 awarded to a student who embodies the Wynn's family commitment to excellence in academic pursuits and love of mathematics. This year's winner is... Mr. Devin Halliburton. The last award is the Joshua M. Kern Medal and Scholarship. The Joshua M. Kern Medal and Scholarship is presented to the graduating senior who best personifies the qualities of character, the instincts for leadership, and the passion for social justice of the co-founder and the first executive director of Thurgood Marshall Academy. Joshua M. Kern helped to found Thurgood Marshall Academy, and more than any other individual, he shaped what it has become. His vision and drive made possible this living monument to the social justice legacy of Thurgood Marshall. The Joshua Kern Medal and the $1,000 scholarship that accompanies it is to be awarded to a graduate who has demonstrated a commitment to the values that led to the creation of this school. So it is right that he or she exemplifies Mr. Kern's instincts for leadership and the character traits that earn the trust of others, honesty, fairness, a willingness to listen, and the courage of his or her convictions. Above all, this student hears an inner call to seek justice. The selection committee is confident that he or she will answer that call with all the passion and energy that justice deserves. 
and that Mr. Kern gave to fulfilling his commitment to educational justice at Thurgood Marshall Academy. On behalf of the faculty and administration and the friends and supporters of Thurgood Marshall Academy who created this award to honor Mr. Kern, I am proud to present the Joshua M. Kern Medal and Scholarship to Devin Halliburton. I looked in the mirror, gray hair I could see. So I decided that this speech would showcase how they came to be. I'd point to a hair and give it a senior name, but that's too much shade. So instead, let's play a song game. As freshmen you came, get in formation, we said. You responded with, ooh, leaving us confused and feeling bad. While we preached work, 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 for you it was going down in the DM. Gave you a second chance. We don't want no problems with these freshmen. The sophomores, year 10. Being humble was not your way. Y'all were still bad and bougie. And then Cardi B came to stay. But then life hit us hard. And we questions got, questioned God's plan. But you refused to accept that this is America. Fought for Zaire, Paris, and others by taking a stand. So as juniors, TMA felt like a familiar old town road. Sometimes you would act up, but you started buying what we sold. Every now and then, you'd say, leave me alone, and the boys would talk sports. None of you wanted to give up your phones. After a hot girl summer, it was time for senior year. All the struggle was worth it, but then COVID and fear. No traditional prom or graduation, injustice staring in our face crushed by truth hurts but you kept running your race but life is good for the future miss allison miss ally that can't be but you know how to stand for righteousness so do that and you will see and when you look back at it you'll feel pride and smile because you did it and you did it overcoming so many trials congratulations 2020 I love you. See you later. Stand strong. Stand proud. These times will only make you greater. I certify that the members of the class of 2020 have met the requirements for graduation as outlined by the District of Columbia and have earned their high school diploma. I present to you the class of 2020. Samuel Marvellus Obola Renoir, Barry Lamont Barnes, Share Amari Bell, Thomas B. Best, Michael Anthony Blackson, James E. Blueford. Laurent Paul Marie Bolch, Damar Jonathan Brown, Courtney Giselle Brown Mercer, Derek Kyrie Berno, Shanetta Mercedes Burton, Jaleel Isaac Butts, Samuel Christian Clark, Jamon Marquise Cooper, LaKayla Deshawn Daniels, Darviel Amir Darlington, Jeffrey Leon Davis, Stephen D. Davis, Christian Timothy Dixon, Daniel K. Edgerton, Jayshawn Marcus Edwards, Clarence Edward Eggleston, Miko Deja Evans, 
Talia Adele Gant. Devin Thomas Halliburton. Miracle Unique Christina Hardy. Lonzo Lewis Haith Jr. Jesse Scott Holmes. Kayla Janae House. Alexis Victoria Johnson. Brianna Antoinette Johnson. Delonte Ramon Johnson. Denasia Simone Johnson. Alexis May Jones. Taylor Elizabeth Martin. Malik T. McCullum. Naya Michelle McCray Stickland. Jania Capilani Milligan. Anaya Renisha Moore. Fatima Akila Musa. Mosiah Christian Perkins. Malaysia Tyshawn Preston. Rashad Everd Primus. Angela Alicia Rosa Queen. Jalen Danelle Richardson. Shamari Monet Robinson. Charles Raymond Robinson Jr. Anthony Dion Samuel. Jawan Roy Smith. Terrence Maurice Stevens. Lamont J. Stoney. Michaela Paris Stoney. Alicia Renee Towns. Simone Monet Triplett. Kiara Ave Turner. Malik Deshaun Turner. Shonda Nicole Tyler. Kayla Denise Valentine. Aaron Lamar Ward. Trinity Brianna Waring. Jordan Akira Watkins. Jaleel Marquise DeAndre Williams. Samori Francis Williams. Merica Shalia Williams Andretas. Rico Tavon Wilson. Tashe Monique Wright. Special congratulations to the class of 2020. Through adversities, you guys have definitely shined. Welcome to the Thurgood Marshall Academy alumni community. Thank you. Class of 2020, I am so, so proud of you all. I've had some of you all for three years. I've known some of you for four years. I am just extremely excited to see what you all will do for the remainder of your life, college, your careers. I know you're gonna do amazing things. I know this is not the year that you expected to have your senior year, but you all made the best of it. If you can get through this, you can get through a lot of things that life will throw at you along the way. Continue moving forward, continue striving for the best. Congratulations once again, class of 2020 from Miss Camps. Seniors, seniors. Hey, what's up class of 2020? This your girl, Miss Coco. I just wanna congratulate you guys on all the hard work you've been doing. This year has been trying, but guess what? You didn't give up and you kept on moving. And that's what make you a warrior, period. On oh, Grandma, I love you guys. Calling all seniors, class of 2020. It has been an honor and a privilege to be a part of your educational community. I am so proud of you for completing high school. Now you are about to embark on your next journey, both college and life. You will continue to learn and grow. Make sure you are always confident in who you are. You must always be your biggest cheerleader. Hard work, dedication, responsibility, accountability, and so many other words 
that you will need to live by. Always set high expectations for yourself and surround yourself with people that challenge you to be better each and every day. Congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, congratulations. You guys finally made it, and you can say that you are graduates of Thurgood Marshall Academy. Great job. But remember, this is just the beginning of your long journey. You may be going off to college. You may be starting a new career. Regardless of whatever you do and whatever you choose, the challenges and the things that come your way are going to be more difficult and more challenging than you've ever seen or faced before. But remember that it's okay because as long as you try your best, you'll have no regrets and great things will come your way. I truly believe that, guys. And make sure you take time out of each day to take care of yourself, exercise, and eat healthy. Of course, you know that would come from me. And if, you've, if I've coached you or taught you or seen you in the hallway, know that I will miss you very much. Please come back and visit. And if you need anything, I'm here for you. Again, congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Lord, you're, you're